one of the amazing things we did while we were in Zambia, apart from the safari, was go to the Zambezi Gorge. Now this is where the Victoria Falls are. Some of the things we did include the rappelling, the flying fox, the superman zipline, and the gorge swing. Now rappelling is pretty much like any rappelling we've done before, but it's down a 50 meter cliff straight down into the Zambezi Gorge. We did a whole lot of adventures in the Victoria Falls area. At the Zambezi Gorge we tried rappelling. Hey, what's up? Where Wilson went down, no trouble at all. Vanessa tried it for the very first time. Paula tried it for the very first time, going a little bit slow. Because this thing gets very warm. And I tried the wrap, which is face first. And I loved it. <laughs> the flying fox was made extra exciting because we were flying across the Zambezi Gorge. Something else we tried was a flying fox. Now, we've tried flying fox before, but not through the Zambezi Gorge, going from one end all the way to the other. Something a little bit different is the Superman zipline. Here you get a big running start and then launch yourself face first straight out into the gorge. Fly all the way, well, almost across and then come back. How was that? How was that? But maybe my favorite is the gorge swing. Um, I actually host a sports traveling adventure show. Oh, right. So this is my kind of thing. So how did you end up on this amazing race? Uh, just lucky, I guess. Um, and let me tell you, it was a whole lot of fun. Check it, was in. Head up, right? We ready? Yep. On a car. Three, two, two one, step. <laughs> Strapped into a harness, you step off into a 50 meter drop straight down the cliff before you even begin the swing. That is wild. Something that everyone who visits Victoria Falls has got to try. <laughs> Guys, I don't want to do this thing. To be honest, I don't care if you have it on national TV. I don't want to do this. <laughs> After my attempt at the gorge swing, Wilson and Vanessa decided they wanted to do it together. I don't know, it's blank. No, I'm a bit scared. What you do, I'm scared of the jump. Oh, I'm an editor of uh, the Maxim magazine. magazine. That would be it. You ready? We're ready, baby. Ready? On the car. Three, two, one. Ball it. Good. Thumbs up! Oh, so, 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 so,
touching a tree. <laughs> the lions are like looking at us. We had a truly amazing experience at Kalamu Camp. The highlight, of course, being finding the big pride of lions while walking. Now, talk about a really raw safari experience. I want the one with the pink camera. <laughs> Trying to <laughs> hide in your pocket. <laughs> The next stop that the guys at Asia to Africa Safaris had planned for us was Kapinga Camp, a few hours flight away. What we hadn't counted on was our pilot James giving us a roller coaster experience in the air. Speaking of rides, once we landed at our destination, we discovered that Kapinga Camp is so remote, it's only reachable by, yep, you guessed it, helicopter. It's an incredible feeling taking off and flying just a few meters above the ground and seeing hippo and elephant below you. An incredible view from miles around and a nice new safari truck waiting for us as soon as we land. The next day, we had the opportunity to get up close and personal. Kapinga Camp has a boat called a Go Devil, which is able to navigate the thickly overgrown lakes of the area. But what adds to the excitement is knowing that hippos have been known to tip boats or even bite them in half with those enormous tusks in other regions of Africa. Remember, they may look big and harmless, but they are responsible for more human fatalities than any other African animal. <laughs> When we started getting closer to a group of hippo in the water, one of them started charging, or porpoising, towards us. This definitely freaked us out, especially when he dived right under our boat. Oh my gosh, he's coming here. Oh god! He's coming. That's insane. It's like a land jaws. <laughs> land sharks. <laughs> Scary. He was like it, coming. Dude, you saw the wake? Yeah. yeah. Huge wake. We all held our breath, thinking we were about to get tipped over, when we felt a little bump, and then it surfaced just a few meters away. Now that's a way to get the blood pumping. No, this is awesome. After that little adventure, we decided to keep a little more distance and observed a group of about 20 hippos sunning themselves. You know what they're doing. It's an incredible feeling being so close and on the same level with these enormous creatures. A truly wild experience. On safari. Here we go. Our final stop in our Zambian safari was Livingston, near the famous Victoria Falls, the largest waterfall in the world. Truly an awesome sight to behold. Whilst in Livingston, we tried some clay pigeon shoot, but it was the first time for Paula and Vanessa, as well as our guide Tudor. Girls with guns, yeah! yeah. Nice! Oh, oh. We're having rabbit tonight! I don't like rabbits! <laughs> you ask me, rabbit? <laughs> you got it, girl, let's go! Now, this setup was the most impressive I've ever seen. The instructor showed us how he could shoot three of them at the same time. Oh, nice. I kind of get the feeling he's been doing this for a while. As a last little send-off near the airport, Paul and Vanessa decided to test their musical skills by trying out a native African instrument, similar to a xylophone, but a little rough around the edges. Still sounded great. Good job, girls. A fitting way to end an incredible week in Zambia. Chopsticks.